me cut. 85% of cats come from stray cats. 85% of cats come from stray cats. That was a band name, stray cats. Hey, my band outdoor is cats. Outdoor Cat. From my house to the Horace Williams Airport, it's definitely not too far. In the future, you will, in small towns, be able to go to a small airport like that, park your car, and get into a drone-like, electric-powered, electric-engined, little quiet airplane, and fly to the closest uh, big airport. From here, it would be RDU. Uh, NASA and uh, there's a FAA SA uh, TI something like that satellite airport initiative has developed uh, uh, nascent uh, systems to make these small airports the final, uh, you know, matured, <laughs> you know, airports have not been around for that long. You see that one that back there where I was at was built in uh, 1940. I hear he's a cop in Gibsonville. He was an asshole. I'm talking about a guy named Steve Perry, who was a town bully, and he became the sheriff of Gibsonville, last I'd heard. My brother seemed to get information. Uh, my old friend Aaron Wilburn, whose father owned a little uh, gas station, like a transformational, uh, uh, you know, it really like the old transformational station that had turned from a livery in, you know, where they took the horses. When you rent it, you could rent a horse, you know, get around. It's amazing when we read about how far people went. Well, they went by horse. And back in the day, they traveled by horse, and they got pretty far doing it. That's why uh, in Guns, Germs, and Steel, we talk about horses. Air, you know, arrows. Mongols could shoot a short arrow and stick it in somebody from a horse. And I believe they were the ones that invented the the, uh, sat, uh, the stirrup. Something like that. You can get there in about 20 minutes, right? You want to see it? To uh, RDU. Oh. And then it took them another hour to get checked in. And then they were probably on the runway for another half hour. Something like that. Imagine if you could park at your own local little community airport, that beautiful little place. 
that I was at. And get on a little drone at 8 o'clock and it was 6, 7, 30 in the morning. We could have a six person plane fly all around North Carolina, frankly, on the weekends for these games. That's when you get the most traffic into that little airport for the elites. 